Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is called You Must Give Women Space. Now for some reason many men believe that they need to constantly shower their girl with their love and attention in order to keep her interest and I'm not really sure where guys get this from. I can only assume it comes from movies and TV or maybe they're getting this idea from their friends and family telling them that you got to show her how much you care. The problem with this is that then men go overboard laying on the romance extra thick by sending her flowers or taking her out on fancy dates, over complimenting her and constantly reassuring her of his love for her. While there's nothing wrong with doing this once in a while and very sparingly, and only with your committed girlfriend or wife, meaning that you shouldn't be doing the, any of those things with a girl you just started dating. Overdoing it and smothering her with your love and attention doesn't bring her closer, it actually pushes her further away. So in this Attraction Tips video, I'm going to explain to you why it's so important to give women space and how to do it in a way where you're not coming off as too cold or uncaring. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. All you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab, and shoot me a message from there. All I ask is that you keep your questions and messages to me rather short and to the point. You know, just stick to the important things, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do have to take care of my paying clients first, but if you're just a little patient, I will get back to you usually within a few days. But if you need to get in touch with me right away and you want to dive a little deeper into your issue, the best way to do that is again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I offer emergency email coaching where I will respond to you within 24 to 48 hours depending on which option you select and I also provide monthly coaching I have, and I have a couple of packages for that and the monthly coaching is where I will work with you throughout the month and I will put a link to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. So when it comes to giving women space, I mean, yes, it is true. They do want your love and attention and reassurance when they're in love with you and they have a high level of attraction for you. In fact, they can't get enough of that from you. However, women need a little bit of mystery in order for them to continue to be in love and attracted to you. I mean, when you're not around, women want to wonder about you. They wanna wonder where you are, they want to wonder what you're doing, who you're with. You know, sometimes they talk about with your girlfriends. They just like to let it all sink in. And you may remember when you were younger and little girls would like pluck the petals off the flower saying, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. And it really is scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And if I could remember when I upload this video, I will put a link to the study so you could see that I'm not making this up. This is, this is real. And it's that little bit of mystery about you that causes her to think about you and feel all those deep, intense emotions that makes her feel alive. I mean, she wants to anticipate that call from you. She wants to anticipate your upcoming date. Maybe if you've been together for a long time, you're in a long-term relationship, or you live together, she wants to hear about what you did when you were away. She wants to hear all about it. I once heard someone use the analogy that what makes music beautiful is the space between the notes, or the silence between the notes. And it's really very similar when it comes to love and attraction. It's when you two aren't together is when her attraction is growing. You know, scarcity creates value. However, when you're always contacting her, you're always available to her, over complimenting her, always reassuring her, you're basically smothering her. There's no room for that to happen. There's, there's nothing to wonder about. There's no mystery about you. 
So you have to give women space, even if she wants to see or talk to you all the time. It's actually better that she's a little frustrated for not getting to see or talk to you as much as she would like to, as opposed to you always being there all the time. Plus that frustration fuels the sexual tension, which is even which is increasing her attraction for you even more. But with when there's, there's tension, there needs to be a release if you want to continue maintaining her love and attraction for you. And this is why you let women come to you. When they miss you and they want your attention and your presence, they're going to put themselves into your orbit. But they're not going to make it obvious. I mean, sometimes they make it obvious, but usually it's very subtle. I mean, part of feminine energy is uncertainty. So they're not going to put themselves in an awkward position where they're unclear about how you feel about them. So usually what they'll do is they will call you and tell you that they've been thinking about you or something similar, hoping that you'll take the lead and do something about it. And what do you do then? Simply tell her that you want to see her and ask her when she's free. And then on your date, you just want to focus on having fun with her and gently leading things into the bedroom. And it's really that simple. You don't have to complicate things by always chasing her or trying to figure out where you stand with her. That's really her job. Now, sometimes there are women that live by the set of rules where she feels that she can't reach out to you thinking that, well, it's supposed to be men that are supposed to call women. In that case, you just want to reach out to her no more than once a week and set a date with her. And the thing is, eventually, she's going to get frustrated enough where she's more than likely is going to start putting herself into your orbit like I was just talking about. So don't sweat it. Just take things slow, build that anticipation and that tension with her, and she's not going to be able to get enough of you. So if you guys have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I would also really appreciate it if you hit the subscri subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol that's next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I will also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.